I'm making a game engine from scratch in C. And using that game engine, I'm now making an evolution simulation. In this evolution simulation, you can draw anything you want. You can draw SpongeBob, a horse, a gun, anything you can imagine, and it will come to life using evolutionary algorithms. In this devlog, I'm gonna show how it works, how you can download it, how you can use it myself, and what my future plans are for this simulation. First, I'll show how it works. When you open the program, you immediately enter the editor. Here you'll see the first body part. And if you go to the edge of a body part and you drag your mouse and release it, a new body part appears. A couple of buttons are visible here. With this one, you can set the width of the body part. And here you can set the length and where it starts initially. These other two buttons set the range of the body part. So those are the joint limits, how much each body part can move. We can try to make a kind of uh, a kind of turtle. If we make this a little bit longer, we give it a head and we give it some legs. We now have a kind of uh, turtle slash insect with six legs. The next step is to decorate it. We can draw on its body. We can disable the background, pick a nice green color, a nice turtle color, make the brush a bit bigger and give it a body. A head and of course color its legs. Beautiful. Now of course it needs to see where it's going. Perfect. Okay, once we're done drawing our creature we press start simulation and we see this. Well it's moving, it's, it's true doing its best but it has a lot of weird artifacts next to its limbs. We can go back to the editor and we can see why this is because if you right click on the body part and you say draw on body part then you see that we've drawn over the entire creature. So there's weird artifacts from the body on the leg. So what we can do is we can go to the erase and we can erase those parts that we don't want. Okay, now we do that for every body part. Okay, perfect. Now once we've done that, you see it's, it's still not ideal because I didn't take that much time for it, but it's a lot better already than what it looked like before. So now we can increase the rate at which the time is progressing and we should see that it's slowly learning how to swim. Okay, it's now about a minute later and here we see our turtle at generation almost 250. And as you can see, it's learned how to move forward pretty well. This is only the result in uh, one minute with a pretty small brain. But if you leave this on with a more complicated body for a longer time, you can see some very interesting things. The simulation comes with a couple of presets. You can save and load your own creatures. A couple of creatures that are included, for instance, are Brutus or uh, Cursed Patrick. And you can run these for yourself and try to change their brains to see what uh, kind of influence that has on their behavior. I think especially Cursed Patrick is very interesting. So here I have a very advanced version of Cursed Patrick. And as you can see, he moves forward pretty efficiently. Now you can go to settings here and say show drag. And then you will see that a body part gets darker every time that the drag increases. Now the drag is kind of the friction that he has with the ground or with the water around him. And as you can see, the brain is smart enough that every time he moves a limb forward, the drag decreases. And if he moves backward, the drag increases. When you click on a body part, you can see the brain in the top left here. Now the brain is just a bunch of numbers. It's called a gated recurve unit. And all I did is I copied the formula for it from the internet. This is all that the brain is. And to train it, 
I used a thing that's called evolution strategies. And there's a paper from OpenAI that says that evolution strategies is just as good as reinforced learning, or sometimes even better. And it's a lot simpler. The entire implementation you can see over here. It's a couple lines of code. So I try to make it as simple as possible. And I think that the results are pretty amazing. It only takes one or two minutes before a creature can swim pretty efficiently. In the next big update, I wanna make walking creatures. Right now it's only swimming, but I actually wanted to be able to both swim and both walk on land. How I wanna do this is uh, I wanna create two separate brains, one for swimming and one for walking. When a creature gets into the water, the water brain activates, and when it's on land, the land brain activates. We can create a couple of legs on this guy, like this, I'm gonna do it really quickly. And if we start the simulation now, you will see that he tries to walk. We wait, we wait. Okay, it's a little later. Uh, I did not exactly get the result that I expected, but he is moving forward, so I say it's a success. The trick can be to just increase the brain size a little bit, because sometimes he's just too stupid to walk forward. Okay, it's about a minute later, and again he chose the same strategy to move forward. This weird uh, laying down and, and moving his legs way. But he's getting a lot further than the last time, so again I'd say it's a success. It's a success. You can download the game by going to budaman.itch.io And it's on the top here at FODRAW. And you can also follow me everywhere because soon I'm also gonna publish the entire source code to GitHub. That's it, see you.